All right. Okay, so this is the amount of uh, this is the energy balance in the viscous flow. And again, in order for us to be insensitive to the particular choice of ye, we are going to compare this equation to the corresponding equation satisfied by what? Right, what did we do? I think on uh, Monday or last Friday about the mass balance equation and uh, a momentum balance equation. We also derived a similar form, but we didn't directly look at it. We subtracted another equation from this form. What was this other equation? So we, we ended up deriving an integral equation, right? Integral of what? What integral did we relate to the displacement thickness? What integral did we relate to the momentum thickness? Mass conservation. Right, we related mass conservation uh, to the displacement thickness, but like the displacement thickness was, uh, was really integral from zero to infinity, right? Of what? Yeah. Defect. Right, so we were looking at integral of the defect, and the defect is represented as the difference between what and what? In viscid equivalent velocity, right? So here we have the governing equation of the viscous fluid. Now we need to derive the corresponding equation for the equivalent in viscid fluid. And what's the difference here? Which term do we don't have? Right. The right hand side is something we don't have, right? So, so let's uh, look at them term by term. Let's look at green here. So green, let's say uh, blue, blue is the viscous, and green is the inviscous. Okay. So for green, the right hand side is zero. And the first term would be also integration of from zero to UE, but a constant, right? Yeah. So so that'll be UE to the cube divided by two times integration over dy. Right? So so this would also be the same. So it'll be just a UE times UE, right? So here would be here would be the same right here at this point at ye the e equivalent in viscid fluid is going to be equal to the uh it's going to be equal to the viscous fluid but then there is another term there is additional term at the wall the additional term at the wall is going to be integral from x to x plus delta x and my v right at the wall times u u e square over two okay dx so this is the term that the inviscid fluid has but the viscous fluid does not have all right so here the viscous fluid is also going to be replacing u as u e uh, the pressure is going to be the same right for the viscous or inviscid fluid and uh, this term is going to match exactly and the flow also is going to have a minus x it's going to have a have a term through the wall that is p times v dx for the inviscid fluid all right so the third integral is also in the inviscid which the oh, third in the last equation just for so the third in third term on the left yes side. this is the same these are the same okay. right and also all the viscous terms including the surface and the volume integral are zero for the inviscid fluid just because it doesn't have viscosity all right
So now let's subtract blue. Uh, let's subtract green from blue. Actually, let's subtract uh, blue from green to see what we get. Okay. So first of all, instead of integrating to ye, I'm just going to integrate to infinity because now after the subtraction, the equation should not be sensitive to any particular ye, right? Okay. So doing the subtraction, what I get is half of ue cube minus u cube dy. Uh, that is that is have a minus sign at x plus exactly the same term at y plus delta x uh, at x plus delta x. The the ye term cancels and uh, we get a negative term that's coming from the from the wall so x plus x plus delta x uh, that's the velocity half of ue square dx so that's the kinetic energy flux and the pressure force is plus p times integration of Actually, I think I, I want a minus, minus sign, uh, ue minus u dy again at x plus a p times integration ue minus u dy at x plus delta x. And again, I have a minus sign. This is p times v at dx, right? And this whole thing is equal to a minus of, of the viscous dissipation. Uh, da, da, da. Actually, I think I think I probably messed up with the sign here. So this is a uh, right. So so the integration by pass actually gives me a minus sign. So so here is actually a negative. And by subtracting the blue from the green, I have a positive sign here. So this is a integral from uh, x to x plus delta x, integrate from 0 to infinity, uh, tau xy plus u plus y dy dx. All right. This is the equation I have. Yang, did you find some mistake I have in my derivation? Are we missing the positive term of the third and third term? You mean this term? This this is the third term? Is that right? Is that what you're pointing out? Yeah. Yeah. So this that's at y y e. That's at y e, right? Okay. But at the y station, the inviscid and viscous fluid agrees. Ah. Okay. They matches exactly. So this term would be exactly the same for the green and blue equations. That's why they cancel out. Okay, so the next step is we take an infinitesimal delta x, right? And then the difference between x plus delta x and x becomes a derivative in x. So d dx is what we have here of an integral from 0 to infinity. Um, so here is ue to the cube minus u to the cube. And I want to also uh, put in this term plus oh, let's 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 put it differently. So this is uh, uh, this is dy. And then let's also put in this term plus d dx p integration from 0 to y ue minus u dy so these are the ddx terms right the terms that doesn't have integral over x so let's write all the terms on the right hand side because all the other terms are involving integral from x to x plus delta x if i take delta x to be infinitesimal these terms are just uh, the integrands, right? 
So now I have v. Uh, so this v is basically v at the edge of the boundary layer, or or the v of the inviscid. So let's say v i at at the wall at the wall. Uh, u e square over two plus p times v i at the wall. A plus integration from zero to infinity. That's only integration over y tau x y. Partial u partial x uh, partial u partial y dy. So this is then the defect equation we can derive.